This morning, I heard a most unusual case. You know, some people will do almost anything to save their marriages. The couple I met this morning proposed a desperate solution that brought them into divorce court. Divorce court is now in session. Mr. and Mrs. White, uh, your marriage is ending. And in an attempt to, the, to save your marriage, I understand that Mrs. White has offered to engage in a polygamous relationship with you. Is that accurate? Yes, to a degree, yes. Now, yes, ma'am. How did the subject of polygamy come up? My wife can be a bit clingy and emotional, and we move a lot. Uh -huh. In the last, last six years, we moved um, a total of about 10 times. Over a period of time, by us moving so much, it's hard for her to kind of hold on to friends like that. Sure. You know, because we moved to different places, different times and uh -huh. stuff. So one of the things that came up, and she has a problem with me uh, being friendly with women. You know, I'm, uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm a people person. I, mm -hmm. You know, most of my friends are women. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for her to trust me and... So one of the things that come up was polygamy. Uh, we were watching a show one day on TV, um, and it sounded... How does polygamy solve any of those problems? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she would have a friend. She would have a, a, a sister, sisterhood. Oh, so you just do it because you're a nice guy. Want your wife to be happy. I mean, pretty, pretty much, you know, it, it kind of works out for everybody. You know? Was it your idea? No, ma'am. I love my husband to death, but he's a little narcissistic. And um, he made it seem like it's a fantasy, like me and the other woman to go hand to hand, go get our hair done, and be best friends and everything. But I think it's kind of, you know, just so that he can have a, a dominant. It's thing. extra sex, is what it is, isn't it? I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> that's that's what possibly. I was thinking. But. Don't will, say quite possibly. It will keep me from cheating, what she thinks I'm out cheating and I'm out doing other Are things. Are you cheating? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I've been faithful for uh, six, six years we've been together. It, he's been do, looking. Do you believe that? I, I don't believe that he's cheated, but he, I believe he's actively looking at all times. I'm not, because she, what she does is she goes through my emails. She, I don't know how she does it. I don't know what she... She, she has my passwords. <laughs> I don't know how she goes. She, she Your Honor, finds no, all this I, stuff. In the beginning, I did go through his phone once because he's glued to it 24-7. And I saw pages and pages and pages of emails back and forth from Craigslist, um, ads and things but, like that. You know what I want to advocate? I want to advocate an E-free evening <laughs> for all married people. You, everybody puts their E down and, and, and not find out what the other person is doing through, through the cloud. Find out through hands and speaking and touching and that I'm not going to... I'm home with you for these four hours during the day and I'm going to concentrate on you instead of, you know, chit-chatting with John, Joe, Bobby, Sue and, and Eleanor all night long. But in my defense, Your Honor, in my defense, I know that she goes through my emails so I'll send those emails out to female just but, to watch the but, but, expression but, 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 Mr. on Mr. White, her face, Mr. Though. Mr. White, you're upset that she's jealous. And as she's watching you to find things to be jealous about, what you do is feed that insecurity because it's fun. No, yeah, not it's because fun it's fun, because she's violating my privacy. But, but see, but, but she's violating your privacy because she's scared. So you make her more afraid in an effort to get back at her for violating your privacy. The thing to do is be a grown man about it instead of playing games and, and teasing her and poking her fear and poking her where she's weak. I'm talking. And, <laughs> and then you fill her up by making her feel loved and wanted and exclusive and gorgeous and, and all of that. And then none of this junior high school nonsense would have to happen. <laughs> It's just, my last relationship ended because... Of the same thing. The same thing. Mm -hmm. my, that's my personal property, my personal private space. Mm -hmm. And when somebody Be violates that, that as it may, when someone does something wrong to you, doing something wrong to them is not the response. Do you see what I'm saying? You're feeding the beast you're trying to kill when you put that stuff on there. And it's silly. Did you understand what I'm saying? It's silly. 
Now, may I say this to you, Mrs. White? He says he's never cheated. I believe him. Are you not feeding the beast you're trying to kill by continuing to go after him and look through his stuff and all that? Either trust him or don't trust him. Well, the thing about it is he says that he does that because he knows I looked through, but he was doing that before I ever knew. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm just, you know, and if I just bring up or if I just pretend like his, his mind is so guilty of it, he'll just <laughs> think that I'm going through it automatically. I don't have to go through his phone. I could just look at him like when he's getting a text and, oh, you know, and it can lead into that. I just feel like I do any, I'm a pleaser. I'll mm -hmm. do anything for him and I'm at the point where, you know, with the polygamy that I even want to do that just so he can feel fulfilled if I'm not fulfilling him enough. Is she not fulfilling you? Yes, yes. She fulfills me. It's just, I get a lot of people texting me or calling me for various different things. Every time my phone rings, doesn't mean it's somebody trying to get with me. If my phone rings or I get a text message at 11 o'clock at night, it might be somebody coming, because a lot of people come to me for advice. Mm -hmm. it doesn't do, you, mean... do you share with her the type of information and stuff that's going on so she can feel comfortable that your, your e-life is not inappropriate? She She's your wife. She know what I do, but at the same token, I can't, I can't go through every single time my phone ring, though, or, you know, every, she, every time, if, if my phone ring now, she'd be like this. Well, let me ask you this. What kind of advice do you give? Somebody calling you up at 11 o'clock at night, what kind of advice are they looking for? All type, all type of advice. Well, why come to you? Are you a psychologist or something? I'm a, actually, I'm a, I'm a certified peer support specialist. You're a what? A certified peer support specialist. He does have a lot of friends that go to him for help and advice, but at the same time, if my phone, if I'm getting texts from the morning throughout the night, Believe me, he's gonna look at me, okay. kinda. Let, let's move on past the text thing. Her bags is gone, and she took our savings. He slapped me in the face with a lot of money. Did you throw the money at her, though? Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mrs. White, you say your husband has an explosive temper. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, yes, ma'am. His um, temperament is something like a Doberman Pinscher. He's real, you know, laid back and mellow, but he goes from zero to ten instantly. So, um, like, for instance, he was in an argument with someone on the phone, and I'm a, I'm a pleaser, so I tried to offer a massage and a facial just to get him calmed down. And he got mad, and he said, you know, what does it look like? I'm a, I'm a female to you. You know, you need female friends. And he slapped me with a wad of money and left. Your Honor. Get, let me get, get your, your version of that. Your Honor, so I wake up at 8 in the morning. Yeah. Uh, she wakes me up. She said, can I do a facial on you? No. I said, no. I ain't no... Hang on. I, 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 I... I say, um, I don't need no facial. So she gets mad, her feelings get hurt, she's strong, go in the bathroom, slam the door. Do you know why she wanted to give you a facial? Because you were on the phone? I ain't never did no facial. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. It, it wasn't like, it wasn't like I just came out, let me give you a facial, like he's a female. He was arguing, he was upset. I was trying to give him a massage and also... Did you see it as something that she was trying to do that was positive and soothing and supportive, not like she was practicing her, her makeup skills? That's what, I looked at it like that. That's how I seen it as. I mean, I mean... Did I, you ask her why? No, I just... You just I got just, mad. It was 8 in the morning. I just woke up. You know, and the first thing she talked about is doing a facial. And no. then she got mad and stormed off, slammed the door, and so we argued for a minute back and forth. So I leave, and I go down, down around the corner oh, to the pool hall, Stop. and I shoot some pool, and I stay gone for about an hour because we was arguing for a little while. So sure. I stay gone for about an hour or two. When I come back, the, the pictures tore off the wall, her, her bags is gone, and she even took our savings. Mrs. White, did you do all of that because he didn't want a facial? No, ma'am, I did that because he slapped me in the face with a lot of money. You threw money at her? I was, because she, I was counting money, because I, I was counting money for a reason. Now. <laughs> but when she, when she, when she come at me like that, and she said, uh, she, she said something that ticked me off. She called me, uh, 
I didn't call you anything. She said she called me a, a social media gangster. Yeah. No, I did not. It was something to that effect that that's what set me off. And the reason I threw the money was because I was counting the money because I was going to get her something anyway. Uh -huh. So when she left, she took the money and left, went down to the beach, and didn't answer my call, paid like $75 for the cab to get down there, $200 for a hotel room, mm -hmm. you know, and so didn't answer my phone. So, did you throw the money at her, though? Yes, I did. <laughs> so, Over a facial? Yes, ma'am. It was an argument that ensued. It wasn't just actually over the facial. Yes, it was. But throughout But the that's whole... what started the argument, that you yeah. were insulted by the fact that she wanted to give you a facial. Yeah, it's like she trying to uh, feminize me or something. I'm, you know... I, I wasn't trying to put makeup Are you on that me. insecure? I mean, is no. your manhood that delicate that... I mean, you got pigtails on. I what? Mean. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been... I've been... I'm just more like a man's man, and I'm not doing no facial. I'm sorry. I, you know. I'm going to get off the facial in a minute, and you can tell I'm stuck on it because it's just, it's, it's, it, I think it's just ridiculous. But, hey, baby, I don't want a facial. That could have been it, but, you know, it was 8 in the morning. <laughs> so. uh, hey, baby, it's 8 in the morning. I don't want a facial. <laughs> yeah, she, but she overplayed it, too, though. Yeah, I like my women Neil, so conscious. For you the like first... them conscious? <laughs> <laughs>I'm going to take you back in time into b before y'all were arguing and carrying on. Tell me about Bougetta. Bougetto. So, Bougetto. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell so, me about that. So I met her in 09. Um, we were at a party at a, at a friend's house. And, you know, she was the only person there that caught my attention. She uh -huh. was Neil Soul, um, Square. And I like that, you know. I like Neo my, soul and square. Yeah, I like my women neo soul, you know, um, conscious. For you the like first, them conscious? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you didn't mean that like that. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. Go ahead, I'm, my bad, my bad. She came out to my house, and from there, we didn't have a TV or nothing. We just kicked it, and we had a good time. We was able to laugh and talk about all type of stuff with no expectations, no, you could say whatever you want to say, what no problems or nothing, you know? And so that's what attracted me to her, you mm -hmm. know? So when my father got sick, I left and I went, I had to go back home and I offered her an invitation to come down there. You know, she was mm -hmm. from, from uh, Arizona, you mm -hmm. know? So her, her people are a little more bourgeois, you know? Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so she teeters along, the, on, along that line as being bougie, but then, you know, she can be, Hood. She can be down. She can be cool. Yeah, she, yeah. She, so, she, she, you know, that's she, what I she like. was bicultural. Yes, that's what I like. Yeah, you like bicultural. Yeah, I like that. You know, uh -huh. so you know, we kicked it off. We had a good time, but when she kind of left her family, they told her she was going to get shot as soon as she got off the plane. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> you know, but she toughed it out, and um, you know, I stayed three years taking care of my father, and when he passed away, it was like, okay, so where you want to go? You know, so that's when we up and left and moved again. So in the, in the process of all this moving, it's hard for us to hold friends. Right, so, right. I understand you've moved about 10 times during the course of your marriage. What's with all that moving? We're like some gypsies. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 let me ask you, Mrs. White, what is with all that moving? Who, who, well, who decides that and why do you go? It's kind of like together we decided. Um, I've been on my own for a long time, too, since I was 14, and we've always kind of been unstable. When we found each other, it was like we just kept going. How do you finance all of this? <laughs> I moved across town and it, 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 it almost <laughs> broke me. I just... Yeah, I mean, I always hold a job, you know, wherever I'm at in Detroit, I was a case manager, you know, in uh, South Carolina, I was a secretary, and um, I just had a baby. Are you, so. are you typically the primary breadwinner? Um, no, I would say that 50-50, he really makes more than me um, sometimes, so... What do you do? Peer support specialist. <laughs> 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 no. Now, what is that and how do you get paid for it? 
Well, I work in I work in the mental health field. Basically, all the problems that I've been through, that's my resume. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yeah. you had a tough life, a tough way to go growing yeah. up, and other kids that are in that and kids yeah. that are in that situation, you assist them yeah. or, or or older people, you assist yeah. them in getting through the tough times. Yes. Yes. So, you know, and, well, and good that's, for you. Thank you. And, and, and Does it pay? And, you know. yeah. uh, Does it pay well? It pays pretty decent, but throughout this time since we've been together, I, I, I would say though, you know, I have treated her better than any female I've ever been with. You know, mm -hmm. most females I'll drive them through the drive-through, dollar menu. But, <laughs> but, but with her, honestly, with her, I took her. She's been uh, the Renaissance. You know, mm -hmm. we've been all the fancy restaurants she wanted to go to. I took her there. Okay, I got it. I got it. In divorce court, couples tell me everything about their relationships. Want to share your experience? Join the conversation on our Twitter page at Divorce Court. On Facebook, check out other fans and their intimate issues. You know everybody has something to say about love. What's on your mind? As this marriage is ending, Mr. White, you're asking for $800 from Mrs. White for an outstanding loan that you are having to pay down after having to take care of her mother, correct? Yes. Okay. Before I get to that $800, let me ask you this. You've said so very little negative about her. Mm -hmm. You've expressed love. You've expressed that she's in your corner. You've never wanted to treat another woman better than you've treated her. She's even gone so far as to say, I will tolerate another woman in my home in order to keep you. Why do you want to divorce her at all? She's kind of clingy because we move a lot and I have to be right there. If I miss a call, miss a text, oh, it's a problem. I got you. you know, I'm with you. And... Mrs. White, do you understand what he's saying about Clingy, does that all accurately reflect the picture of your relationship? And be honest about it. I don't feel that I'm ultra clingy. I think that I show him a lot of emotion and I give him a lot of respect and I praise him all the time. That, that's respect and wonderful. He's talking about he feels suffocated by you. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. He feels suffocated. Do you understand that part? Yeah. You got a loan three years ago? Yeah, roughly. Five. Roughly, and you're yeah. still paying it off? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you do so voluntarily? We got it together. You got it together? Yes. We both benefited from it. And you both benefited yeah. from it? Yeah. And we're going to leave it where it is. This is, this is what I'm going to tell you, Mrs. White. You can solve your own problem here. You can solve your own problem by living a larger life. Yes, you do move around, but you can move around with books on your Kindle. You can move around with things that you like to do. You be more interesting to yourself. You enjoy whatever hobbies. I, you know, I paint. Can't paint well, but I do it anyway. I learn Russian. I learn French. I do all of these things because I want to be interested. When I'm home alone, nobody with me, I got stuff to do. And if you live a larger life, you won't need him to answer the phone every five minutes. You won't need to be able to have friends all around you because you move so much. You will be able to do that. And as you live a larger life and become a more interesting person, you will be more secure in who you are. You will be more uh, strong and more sturdy, and he will respect you more. And he will find that you're all the woman he'll ever need. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> There's a thing in the law called doctrine of latches. It's too late. Three years ago, I can't give you any money for that. Besides, I don't think you're gonna leave her because you got a potential to have her and another woman. Ain't nobody else gonna <laughs> give you that. Uh, but, so there will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. I told Samantha to live a larger life because when you give to your mate, you can't lose yourself in the process because eventually they'll lose interest in you. Call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222.